We would like to thank the University of the West Indies for partnering with us, partnering with us and for the donation that you have given us this morning in the form of these drones. Now, most people might not recognize that the area of firefighting and disaster management has evolved significantly over the years, and we have introduced drone technology, AI, and all sorts of information technology into the industry to improve it and to keep our people safe. Um, this is not the first time that we will be exposed to drone technology because we have used it on many occasions. A matter of fact, as we speak, we should be having a, a, a flyover at an incident that was giving us a lot of problems to determine the, the thermal learning in a particular space that will remain nameless at this time. Um, we've also used it in the dump fire to analyze what was happening. And in the case of the dump fire, if I may explain a little bit. Now, when we get on, got on scene, we spoke to the persons there and they give us a picture. And a strategy were developed based on that picture that get, they give us. When the drones got on site and we got the air review, we were able to see that if we had to continue in that vein, we would be making a mistake. So therefore it gave us a better uh, uh, bird's eye view of what was actually happening and then the strategies were modified and then we were able to um, extinguish the fire in a, in a faster or uh, quicker time. We also use the drone technology in the Bristol port. We had a hazmat situation and normally we would have to send in individuals into that situation um, after put on hazmat suits, we were able to use the drones to go in, take the footage, and they'd be able to tell us live what was happening, and the decision was easily made. And we have used it in the major fire we had, bonfire we had in Brandon's recently, last year, I think it was, and that was able to give us a, a view, a 360 assessment of what was happening, and that also informed strategy. But even the study that we are doing and the study that we've um, worked with with the University with the West, West End is led by Dr. Douglas, we were able to see the different distribution of heat and the, and, the, and the fire mapping in the various districts in Barbados. And that informed us a lot. And, and also the, the whole area of looking at water resources. We now know that look, we have a scarce water we have extreme temperatures, and we have to look at alternatives to dealing with these things. We could also even develop educational programs for persons who are on the ground that they can avoid these situations and avoid fire from occurring. And if I may conclude something that really impressed me with this study. Well, while I was studying, I needed to get some data for my paper, and I found that I could not find anything from the Caribbean anything from Barbados, and I had to resort to North American and North American writers to get the data and the information. And this type of study is homegrown. We know it's happening in Barbados, it will happen in the Caribbean, and in that way, we now have something that we can make decisions better to, in Barbados and in the Caribbean to protect our people.